As president, my name is Carl Landerholm of the Historical Society. I'm very, very proud to uh, have you all sitting here and recognizing the importance of the work of Jim Benson, Nicole Casper, Kenny Galligan. He was the proofreader and all of the good things that we have managed uh, because of their auspices. And it helps the society. It honors the families that were uh, 13 firefighters that were lost. And just as a side note, everybody has a story. My father was on the fire department as a lineman in the signal group. And when the uh, alarm, the general alarm was called, he would put the floodlights, he put a floodlight down that didn't have enough extension cord where engine company one was. He had to go back out to School Street up to Maine and in front of the Kennedy building where ladder two was to retrieve additional extension cord. As he came through the door, the roof came down and uh, he was not in harm's way at that point. So it was his wish that everybody in our family commemorate tomorrow, which is March 10th. It's a very important date for a lot of people. And this book does a marvelous job of narrating stories that you have not heard as this one. This is not in the book. This is, you've heard it first class. I don't know it's first class, but it's first hand. <laughs> Both. Both. And it's not in the book because you didn't tell us when we were writing the book. <laughs> It's true. But in any event, uh, welcome here, and I'm pleased to introduce the mayor for uh, representing the city. Please. Well, good evening, everyone. Just, just like to, on behalf of the city, welcome everyone here tonight. Um, just to echo a few of Carl's thoughts. Uh, this really, uh, we're certainly very excited about the book. I think that when you think about the Strand Theater fire, you think about um, how fewer and fewer people we have alive today to tell the stories firsthand of things that happened at, at that point in time. You know, I think about World War II vets and how few of them are left. And each year that goes by, there are fewer and fewer Brocktonians who actually remember the fire themselves. Uh, so I think it makes what you guys have done writing the book that much more important because um, <clears throat> one of the things I really love about our city is the history. We have just have so much significant history to this city. And uh, whether it's the Underground Railroad or the work of Thomas Edison and so many uh, great things that have happened in the city, the labor union movement, the Industrial Revolution. I mean, we just have this unbelievable history. And a really, really important piece of that history, and really, I think, part of the fabric of our city is the tragedy of the Strand Theater fire. And uh, it's just so critically important that we remember it and continue to tell the story. So, you know, so many things in the world have changed since 1941. And I know how many things have changed with firefighting since 1941 in terms of science and equipment and technology. But then you think about some of the basics really haven't changed. It's men and women running into a burning building without regard of their own safety to save others. That hasn't changed. You know, it's, it's saving lives. Firefighters today may save lives in some different ways than they did back in 1941, but it's, it, it, it's still the same basics. And so I think when we think about what happened uh, back in 1941 um, and the lives that were lost and those were, that were also injured so badly, that... And I think it serves to remind us about what's really important uh, in terms of public safety and first responders and uh, what our professional fire department does for us every day. As the mayor, I get a chance to really see it firsthand all the time. And uh, you don't really truly appreciate it unless you have the opportunity to see them uh, responding to life-threatening situations every day. So. Uh, on behalf of the city, for the families of both victims and survivors of the fire, thank you so much for, for being here. Um, I know that as a city and as our fire department, uh, we're going to make sure that the history and the story 
of the Strand Theater fire continues to be passed along from generation to generation and that uh, the importance of the lives that were lost will never, ever diminish in this city. Thank you. The uh, next opportunity to uh, hear the importance of the Brockton fire is from the chief. We're fortunate to have two chiefs in the house. Uh, retired Chief Ken Galligan, who curates the Fire Museum, and you have to look to see how important that restoration and the importance of firefighting in the early era. And on that note, I'd like to introduce our current Fire Chief, Mike Williams, please. Thank you, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the current Brockton Fire Department, I want to say thank you to retired Chief Galligan, uh, Jim Benson, and Nicole in the Stonehill College Archives for providing all the pictures for this book. <clears throat> One of the most important things that you learn when you join the Brockton Fire Department is the important history and tradition of remembering our 13 brothers that were lost in the Strand Theater Fire. It's something that's instilled in you from day one. Um, you know, there are many events throughout the year that, that firefighters what I call put on our dress uniforms for. Um, March 10th is just about the most important of all. Um, there are some firefighters that because of time or, or what have you only put that dress uniform on once a year and for a lot of them it's March 10th and that's because it's so important to us to remember our brothers. So on behalf of today's Brockton Fire Department I want to thank you all for being here. I hope to see you all tomorrow morning at the, at the Remembrance at City Hall. Uh, thank you for coming tonight. Again, thank you for supporting this book. The opportunity wouldn't be complete without the uh, president of the Firefighters Union and the importance of well-organized union relations is great for the city. It's great to recognize it in a time like this. And Arch, would you come forward? Arch Gormley is a, uh, a genuine gift to the city and the importance of uh, the solidarity of the city, the government, the firefighters, and the protection that they deserve. Arch, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Chief, can you give my paycheck to Carl after that? <laughs> No, honestly, uh, well, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, there's a Brinks truck out there. You know? But no, I want to thank uh, Jim, Nicole, Cal, especially you open up your uh, doors for us to come here tonight. Family members, you're amazing. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, no words can say how we really feel. And no words uh, that we can say to heal what you feel. Uh, but it is an honor, it's a privilege. I'm humbled every year that I have the honor to go out and speak uh, when we have the memorial service on that day. Uh, we've continued it, we've been very fortunate. We had an anthracite coal presented to us back on the first year that that happened. That was our steadfast monument to honor the members that passed away until we came up with the great effort of uh, retired Lieutenant uh, Richie Baker, and we built the monument outside of City Hall with the help of the City Hall, Bayer Carpenter, and everything we did out there. So, but that is still our place of honor right there is that anthracite. And that was presented uh, to us by the Scranton Fire Department. And we've been ever friends ever since. We reconnected at the monument and all that. I've had the honor of speaking in front of the membership since uh, 2004 on this uh, event. And each and every year I talk about this and I still have the same feelings with the chills up my spine on what this means to the city of Brockton, what it means to the fire department, and especially what it means to the union. Without these guys, we would not have what we have now. I would not have what I have now. I cannot thank you enough, and it, it's sad to say that, but for the sacrifice that you went through. It's made us a great city, great fire department, and we will continue to honor your family, your friends, till the ends of the earth. 